Overcoming fear is essential for true success and happiness. When I've grown the most in my life, it's been when I've done something difficult to overcome a fear. When you're doing it, you don't notice it, but when you get to the other side, you have this remarkable sense of accomplishment. I remember being really good at cricket when I was extremely young, about five years old, better than all the other kids in my team, but I hadn't worked at it at this point. I just naturally had it better than anyone else. It was a lot of fun, but it just became normal that I was better than anyone. As I started to get a bit older, it was still good, but there were others that became a standout. I all of a sudden had to train extremely hard to get near as good as them. I got better and better and better, and to win awards and get this credit was so exciting all of a sudden because I wasn't the best, and then I became the best. The exact same skill compared to the competition from when I was younger to now when I was older, one was so much more satisfying while the other wasn't. So I push my clients and my friends because I want them to have the same feeling. There is literally nothing in life is satisfying and fulfilling as accomplishing something that was earned through hard work. If you've never experienced it, there's no way to explain it. It is one of the great happinesses in life that comes without the after guilt that you normally do when you go partying, when you go drinking. I mean, I was always a pretty good student for whatever, whatever reason. I guess my oldest brother was extremely studious and always was the top of his classes. So I worked hard like he did, but I was never the top. I feel like I was always incapable of being number one. So there have been times where I've had my doubts and I believe that everyone does today. But the problem is that doubts do not go away. You simply have to figure out how to cope with them. You begin to understand yourself and gain confidence. You start to realize that when you grow up, you are competing against people who are all forced to do the same thing as each other. I mean, of course you won't be the best, but people can become millionaires from just selling corn. The same way that someone can become a millionaire from being an attorney, you can become a millionaire from almost anything. There are so many things that you can do and learning hard work may be the best asset that you have. You can apply that to anything that you are just slightly good at. You become the best at just one specific thing. The greater your success, the more chances you take. You don't allow your mistakes or setbacks to define you. Everyone you know has a bad day now and again. Some people have a proclivity towards falling. And I've realized that if we're healthy and do what we're meant to do, we can live a long life. I'm 31 years old right now. So whatever mistake I did when I was 13 doesn't matter, unless I let that consume my next 18 years. I discovered that I didn't realize that when I was young. Every mistake seemed to be the end of the world and it felt that way because you see the most successful people around you looking as though nothing had ever gone wrong for them in their entire lives. But it only looked that way. The most successful people don't have any less challenges than you do. They just cope with it better so that you don't see it, so that it doesn't affect them. I never felt like I was the best at anything or that I could accomplish whatever it was I wanted to do. I mean, we all feel that way, but just keep working and putting in the effort. That is how I became successful. There's almost no one who becomes a success overnight. Most have to work at it every day, every week, every month, every year. You don't actually realize that you have become successful until you look back at what you have accomplished. I still feel like I'm incapable of true success because the only way to continue to make progress is to feel like there are people in front of us or to believe that we are not good enough.